Jennifer, thank you so much for including your work. I was just reading through your writing here. Really, really super effective stuff here. This is fantastic. It's so effective to include a nice written rationale uh, describing your experience with, with the assignment. It really helps us, uh, we instructors, learn how you uh, understand how you're learning, I should say. And and this is fantastic. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, and this is this this happens quite often, and especially for designers that are just starting out when you become a seasoned designer what you'll end up doing is you'll start envisioning things in your head okay and what you'll do is you'll say all right here's my sketchbook this is what i want this ad to look like you'll sketch it out and the better you get as a designer the more experience you get you'll you'll start to notice that what you envision in your head before you even start is going to start looking exactly like um uh, the, the, the final product. And that's really a, a mark of an experienced designer. A lot of students do, they change their, they change up a lot during their, their, their process. And that's one thing that it's just so you know, the end goal is to be able to really be able to envision something, sketch it out and, and adhere to it. Um, so you're not kind of changing gears throughout the process, so to speak. You, you can see how that would slow you down in, in the process. Um, a sunset image was focused on relaxation. So you have to say the moment of inspiration with a headline and it fell into place rather quickly. I knew that I wanted to. It works. I mean, it works. It's a great ad. So whatever happened, happened very, very well. I knew I wanted to add a pool float. I couldn't just add any old pool float. It had to be special. A peacock felt fine. I'm sure it did. Felt right. And it is a perfect, it's a perfect um, image for the mast, uh, mast image requirement for this project. So good job. Bup, bup, bup. And you say it was facing the other way. And one quick tip is depending on where the placement is, something like this, you always want it facing into the composition. So if you were to place this facing the other way, what's going to end up happening is the, you're, you're actually leading the viewer to look off the page. So if this thing is looking off the page this way, the viewer will look over there and we kind of we can direct eyes where we want them to look based on where we have characters pointed in. The, the composition. So if this is pointed this way, it's inducing the, the viewer to look this way right off the ad. You don't want to do that. When it, as, as I said, anytime you have an object that has a face in it, you want it facing in or a car. You never want a car on the left-hand side of a composition heading off the, the page. Do you see what I'm saying? So I thought, I thought that was a really good choice right there. Uh, people, let's go through a fine fellow right here. Okay, we'll get place more size with them. Peacock might be just a little bit large not much at all but it might be just a little bit large um that's good that's good that you're thinking about weight that's fantastic so you're talking about the weight of the solid purple that's and it's too heavy that's great because i do want to talk about visual weight now i see that you've got your png of the magazine ad but i've got the magazine ad in the window here i don't think we need to open the png everything we need is right here so let's take a look beautiful ad very gorgeous very inviting image Imagery is really done beautifully, both the mast image and the um, uh, the neat thing about this image that you have selected is is it is basically following the exact same light source as the background image, and that's critical. If this was a different light source, it would not look right. So, in other words, here's the sun. We can see from the shadows in the background image, the sun is right up here somewhere. And we can see uh, in, in the, the peacock, the sun is also right up here. So that's really fantastic. Okay, what can we do to improve? Well, I just a little bit, but we can definitely make some improvements. The, uh, the the way the purple is offset on the subhead is a little bit showing more purple than here. So you want to make sure that's extremely consistent. Right now, I just uh, redistributing weight a little bit. You talked about the visual weight of the purple. I want to talk about the visual weight of the logo. It's really heavy. I mean, it's like boom, all eyes go boom, right to the bottom of the logo. And that's because of the visual weight and the size of the, the logo itself. My recommendation is this. Let's, uh, if you're gonna, I, as I said, I, you might consider reducing the size of the, the float a little bit. But let's take that uh, contact information and place it over here. That's black. That's a bold. I would not represent that in bold. I would use the same purple. And, and just regular aerial, not bold. Anyway, and then try to look at a, this configuration right here. That looks great because it doesn't stretch too far into the ad. So right there for the body copy, I'm sorry, the uh, contact information. Then the logo right down here alone, but not the purple logo. Try one of the other logos so that doesn't have so much visual weight. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is take this subhead and left align it with the headline. 
and and again the reason we're doing that is because of, of weight right now you have right line here and left line here and it creates a really unusual uncomfortable visual tension so let's left align the uh, subhead with the headline and then this right here is a really effective spot for type the the lo the type size right now is, is just way too big you don't want to go any higher than 12 on this uh, to 12 point this looks like it's probably 14 maybe even larger um, my recommendation here was, is to present this type in I, in a paragraph format. So right now, this is almost like a bullet list. And to attend to for our new paralyzed package, many amenities included, visit our website or call today. It's almost like a, a bullet list, right? I would transpose that into a readable paragraph, and I would place it in here. One really good trick, that type might be a little weighty. One really interesting thing that you could do is present that type in white, but not stark white. Uh, from your default color palette, maybe go in and sample with your your uh, eyedropper tool and sample one of these colors here, and that's and use that for the type color. That's going to create some wonderful harmony. Try it. See if you like it. If you want to stick with the purple, that's fine too. But my main point is that this is should be a, a paragraph of body copy and not just like these hit lists. You know what I mean? This like bullet list. Okay. Other than that, uh, it's just a phenomenal. Uh, just a gorgeous ad just absolutely gorgeous so be proud it, i am i think it's fantastic i love it so um it, it, i'd like to see those uh changes reflected in your final submission coming up here in a couple of weeks i know already yeah the class is flying by we're already at midterm um but go ahead and make those changes and reflect those try to get those done quickly i mean if you want to do them quickly and resubmit here i'll be glad to take a look but in a perfect world your uh, magazine is done by the time you start your banner ad, that way you can use the elements from the magazine ad in your banner ad. That's that makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, fantastic, Jennifer. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you very much.